Hi everyone. Welcome back. I just had a full breakdown because I tried to do two eye looks previous to recording this video. I tried to do two eye looks. Both colorful, both super, super pretty in theory. Um, and they both ended up with me in tears because I was so frustrated that I could not get it how I wanted it. My hands are literally stained pink. I don't know how this happened. I... I should probably clean it though. I decided that I want to keep trying to do an eye look today. But it's not going to be a tutorial. It is not because tutorials seem to not be in my favor today. We're just going to start. I'm not even going to explain what I'm doing. All the products I use will be listed down below. And if you really want to see how I did this, then just mute me and see how I'm doing it. And it'll, it'll be fine, I think. The other day, somebody asked if I could do like a get to know me tag because they, like, you guys don't know anything about me. Whoever's watching this. Let's start with number one. I have a baby sister. That's her. So, first one is a full name, Jocelyn Alexis Disqua. Next is Zodiac Sign. I am a Scorpio, if I ever seem a little feisty, that's why. So next is birthday. My birthday is November 15th. So just going along that same kind of theme, I am currently 16 years old and about to be a senior in high school. Three fears, okay? Um. Wow, never becoming somebody, like somebody that people remember, just not making my mark, especially in the makeup world. Um, I My dream in life is to have my own makeup business. Um, for the longest time, I've just wanted to make my own makeup, have my own business, you know, make the best of the best products, and one of my biggest fears is not accomplishing that. Another fear I have is just like not even me necessarily dying, but like my family. I know that's like so bad to just even say, but it's a fear of mine and I've had like actual nightmares about it. So I can't think really of another one. Okay, so next is three things that I love. I love makeup, um, literally mostly when I have free time, like days off where I really don't have anything to do. I will sit here and just do my makeup for hours and hours and hours. You know, I will film videos, um, and I love makeup. I love teaching the best that I can makeup and learning just new things, new techniques, new... Just getting out of my comfort zone sometimes just really helps me fall in love with makeup all over again, so... Okay, another thing that- that was only one thing. I mean, it was a lot of subcategories of that one thing, but still, that was just one thing. Um, another thing that I love is lacrosse, and <laughs> if you don't know what lacrosse is, it's, um, it's a sport, and you basically- if you've ever seen Mean Girls, the end of Mean Girls, when Regina George joined the lacrosse team, and she's, like, hitting people with the stick, yeah, it's that, except you're not allowed to hit people with the stick, so it's not the same. Um, it's not really that big here where I live, but I, I love it. I, I am in a team, and most of the time during the school year, when I also, like, where I spend most of my time, aside from at home and in school, is lacrosse and with my team. So I really, I love lacrosse, and I think lacrosse loves me. And I think the last thing that I love is being right and being the best. I know that sounds like super like, but especially like in school, I, I love to debate with people. I love to be right about it. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, that's just another like weird thing about me that I love to do. I love to argue and I love to be right when I argue, so. My best friend. My best friend is Andrea. She actually 
doesn't go to my school. We met when we were in sixth grade. She didn't like me when we first met because I was, um, I had, you know, I still have an attitude and she was just kind of like, ooh, who is this girl? Why is she here, you know? How tall are you? <laughs> I'm very tall, super tall. Everybody that I'm next to, I just tower over them. Well, I'm 4'9", so um, I'm really close to 5 feet, so like, I'm just super tall. Are you a morning or night person? I am, um, <clears throat> I'm definitely more of a night person right now since it is summertime. Um, usually when I'm in school, I try my best to go to sleep early because um, I need my, I need my sleep. I really do, but since it is summertime, there's not really much I have to wake up early for. I definitely wake up later and stay up pretty late, so I would say I'm more of a night person. Are you double jointed? Um, I am double jointed in my arms. This just looks so funny. Um, usually people's arms are, you know, regular like this, but mine can go like this, both of them do. Are you on time or always late? I am usually always on time, um, especially for school. I am always on time. <sighs> I'm so boring. Do you believe in ghosts? Um, I would say yes, I believe that ghosts exist. Um, I've never had a paranormal encounter with a ghost, but I do think that they're real. I don't know, I used to watch um, Oh, I forgot what it was called. It was like this show where these like three guys, three or four guys would go to like haunted places and try and, com there's a lot of shows like that, but they would try and like communicate and see if it was, there was actually, you know, ghosts there. I don't know. I used to watch that and get really creeped out. Maybe that's why I believe in it so, like, <laughs> believe in it a lot. I don't know. Next is, what's your favorite subject in school? Um... I feel like every year my favorite subjects kind of change depending on um, what kind of course I'm taking or what teacher I have. The teacher I feel like is a big, big decider. Decider. Well, for 11th grade, I'm just going to talk about 11th grade because I feel like, I don't know, that's the most fresh. Okay, one subject that I have liked kind of continuously throughout school is... English. I have always kind of liked English. Um, I feel like, I just feel like making myself a better writer, a better persuader or whatever, better speech giver. I don't know. I feel like that's very important, especially when I am older and I'm in college. And like I said, I want to have my own business. I feel like that's something that is super, super important. So I've always kind of really focused on English and really enjoyed it also really liked history because my teacher was hilarious and funny and I don't know just the way that he kind of explained things really kind of made it all make sense in my head and I also really liked physiology what is your favorite drink I love juice like juice just in general I love juice Recently, actually, I tried the new um, dragon fruit drink from Starbucks, and that was really, really good. I actually really enjoyed it, so I feel like that will become a new favorite of mine. Next is, what is your favorite song at the moment? Um, to be honest, I don't really have like a favorite song. There's a few songs that I really like to listen to, just like have it in like a playlist and I just like love all of those songs just to give you like an idea of that I like a lot of not a lot I like a few of the songs from Drake's new Scorpion album um most of them are from side B um but there's a few that are on side A but I also like um Monty Booker he's like a I don't know, like a producer, I think. Like, mostly he makes the beats and stuff, and then other people, um, you know, sing occasionally. 
I'm not even sure like if I'm making sense, but I really like the songs that he makes. Um, they're super like chill and groovy, I guess you can say. Next is what is your favorite book? I don't like reading. Um, I I don't read even when it's for school. Like I take school pretty seriously, um, and I do my best most of the time. <laughs> most of the time, um, and there's just something, ooh, there's just something about reading that I can't do. They're boring to me, and I know a lot of people are like, well, you haven't found, you know, like, your book yet. Like, there's a certain book that you'll fall in love with. Blah, 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 blah. I just, I don't know. So next is, what is your favorite color? Um, I don't think I have, like, a favorite color, just, like, a, one favorite color. Um, but I do always like things that are blue. Do you speak any different languages? Yes, I speak Spanish. Um, I am 100% Latina. Um, even though I don't look like it, I look like a little white girl. I'm not a little white girl, okay? People have literally told me that I look Russian. Somebody told me that my last name looks like I could be French. Um, I've gotten Ukrainian before. So the next question is, have you been out of country? Uh, yeah, actually, when I was like nine or something like that, eight, um, I went to Guatemala, which is where my mom is from. Oh, my dad is from Honduras, 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 whatever. So next is, do you have any siblings? Yes, I do. I have three sisters. Um, I don't have any brothers. Um, <laughs> So my older sister is 20, um, my little sister is 11, and then I have a baby sister who is two and a half, around two and a half. What's your favorite store? Um, I have a few favorite stores, especially like if I'm going to go to the mall or something, like I'm going to hit up all of these stores every single time. So I love Sephora, obviously. Um, <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed because most of my money goes there. I love Target. <laughs> I love Target. Every time my mom's like, I'm gonna go to Target, I'm like, okay, I wanna go. Even if I can't buy anything, um, I love Target. I get a lot of my drugstore makeup there as well, but they just have like so much stuff there. I don't know, I love Target. Forever 21, that's where I go. Uh, even though lately I haven't been having the best luck with Forever 21, I go and I like can't find anything that I really like. What is your favorite restaurant? Um, a restaurant that I personally love to go to and my family loves to go to, especially on like special occasions and stuff, is Benihana's. It is so bomb. It's one of those places where they have like the little grill thing in front of you and they cook in front of you and they give you the food like as soon as it's ready. Ugh, I love it there. It is so bomb. They make amazing food. So, if you haven't tried Benihana's, I think you should definitely try some Benihana's. Do you like school? Honestly, like all honest, I do like school. Like, I like school. I do. Do I like all of the homework and tests and essays and all of the workload that I have? No. Do I like the stress and the sleepless nights? No, I don't. Do I like the super high expectations of everybody, including all of my teachers? <laughs> no, I don't. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Ooh. Okay, I actually really like this question. Raw Beauty Christy. I feel like not only is she talented, you know, like I see some of her, her makeup looks and I'm just like, wow, girl, like, damn, you got it like that. But her personality her content even though some people might may find it boring because it's like get ready with me's and you know talking about life like i love that about her and i love that i can feel like she's my friend not just somebody that i watch and somebody who i'm a fan of but like i feel like she's my friend and i feel like we can relate on things i know it sounds weird because it's like somebody in a stream somebody else that i really like that a lot of people think is problematic and all this stuff is Manny Way. 
I don't know, I love his personality, I love his content, even though his makeup looks can be a little bit, um, not boring, but just repeated, um, I still feel like he does great makeup, and like I said, his personality, whoa, the lighting changed a lot, um, I feel like his personality is just, I just love watching his videos, they make me laugh, and... Yeah. Oh! Somebody who I really, really like is Makeup Tiffany J. She does some of the most ama amazing, some of the most amazing looks. I mean, her looks are, her blending skills are top notch. Her, her creativity is just there. And I don't know, I love watching her videos. Every time she comes out with a new video, whether I feel like I might recreate it or not, I still watch and I still love it so uh, I also really like Kathleen lights she is also a beauty youtuber I love her she I feel like she's so hilarious and <sighs> I don't know there's just something about Kathleen that I love I mean of course everybody loves Tati Tati is amazing she has amazing content um, her videos are super um, entertaining and I know a lot of people like say this about Tati but her voice is super soothing to me and I don't I don't want to say this like in a bad way but I don't know how else to say it but sometimes like when I come home from school and I'm just super tired or whatever and I see that she's uploaded I will put on her video and I will just fall asleep not because she's boring or because I'm not interested but just because her voice just makes me like I don't know if it's oh my god I just dropped my blush it's the only blush I have, and I mean, it's only like $4, not even, probably less, but I hope it didn't break. <gasps> it didn't break. Okay, it's still intact. Cool. Rachel Cantu. Oh my god, I find her hilarious. Um, I don't know, and I feel like her makeup is bomb.com. She is like two years younger than me, but girl, I like, I love her makeup. And how could I forget Emma Chamberlain? Oh my god, I have been subscribed to her since she had like 200k and she is currently at, she is at 2.9 million subscribers. I love her. What is your favorite movie? This is another thing that I feel like I just, I don't have a favorite movie. I think the last movie that I went to go watch like in the theaters was Incredibles 2 oh my god if you haven't seen it you should definitely go see it it is so funny so cute Ooh, girl. currently currently i am re-watching gossip girl i i first watched it like two three years ago no probably like three years ago i watched it for the first time and i was like oh my god i love this show i love the show of course some of the episodes some of the scenes were very like are you kidding me but i don't know i love it i love gossip girl if you haven't seen gossip girl it's literally what it sounds like oh my god ooh, ooh. i just finished the 14th season 14th season of Grey's anatomy and i still love it a lot of people like my sister feels like it's the same thing over again and I don't know she just got kind of uninterested in it and she stopped watching but I love Grey's Anatomy and I will watch it until until I die I also love Jane the Virgin oh my god I love Friends I feel like everybody has seen Friends but if you haven't seen Friends what are you doing with your life watch Friends it is so hilarious that is another show that I continuously rewatch. I will watch all 10 seasons and then wait a week two weeks three weeks for me to kind of get into something else and then i'll just start it over again and just watch all of it my family it's like one of the family things that we do we just watch friends together so next is what phone do you have um i have the iphone 6s and actually that's what i used to do my videos i use the back camera and that's how i record my videos do you have any pets Yes, I have two dogs. Um, one of them is a girl, the other one's a boy. Uh, the girl is older, she is about seven or eight. She's a 
Toy Maltese and a Shih Tzu. And then I have a, we think he is a poodle. Okay, we think, we're not sure. <laughs> um, he's about five, five or six. Um, and we think he's a poodle. The girl's name is Daisy and the boy's name is TJ and his name is TJ because my parents got him at Tijuana. That's why we don't know what he is because they were selling puppies in a box. And my parents were like, oh my god, let's get a puppy in a box. So, yeah. Anyways. When was the last time you cried? <laughs> like an hour ago. Because my makeup, my makeup made me sentimental. And the fact that it was coming out like crap made me very sad. If you were another person, would you be friends with you? That's a good question. Um... I don't know. It could go. It could be yes and no. Depends on what kind of person I am. If I was another person, I probably would be because if I was another person, I still wouldn't be a little b, and I'd be able to handle some, some humor from my friends. Do you use sarcasm a lot? <laughs> if sarcasm was a language, that would be the only language I speak. Let's just leave it at that. Do you think you're strong? No. What is your favorite ice cream? Ooh, I love pistachio ice cream. What is the first thing you notice about people? Um, from like a makeup standpoint, I notice their eyebrows. Like 100% I notice their eyebrows first because I notice my eyebrows first. My eyebrows look hideous today, by the way. So thanks. I notice their eyes, like their, their eyes, their eye shape just like their eyes i don't know like i don't know that that's what you look into when you're talking to somebody like when you meet somebody you're like oh hi like nice to meet you you're looking you're not looking anywhere else you're looking at their eyes so i feel like your eyes <laughs> what color shoes are you wearing pink and white kind of confetti styled kind of um adidas slides what is the least favorite thing about yourself again from a makeup standpoint I would say my eyebrows. My eyebrows has always been something that I hate about myself that I will try so hard to change um, because my eyebrows are so thin and so sparse and light that, I don't know, it's something that I get made fun of for a lot and that's like, like it's not a big deal anymore. Like I've learned to just be like, okay, yeah, I have white eyebrows. And <laughs> what? At least I know how to fill them in. But if I could change something about myself, I would give myself better eyebrows. And like personality-wise, very like hard-headed. And I, like I said, I always want to be right. So when I'm wrong, it's hard for me to admit that I'm wrong. I don't know, like I'm very opinionated. So if I have something to say, I'm going to say it. And it's not always going to be something that people like. So um, I feel like I... I've gotten better at it, but I still need to learn how to, you know, hold my tongue and just not always say something because it can you know, cause problems or whatever it may be, but what is the spark feature that has helped you the most? That I'm hard-headed can be a good and a bad thing, so, um, I don't know, it's just like my character, my personality is very strong, and I have been told that plenty of times before, and I feel like that is something that helps me like not give up when I need something, when I want something, when I'm going for just this goal. I feel like being so hard headed and being such like a strong character. I feel like I don't know. Favorite sports to watch? Well, my family is a big soccer family. Um my family is all about soccer. And me and my older sister we play lacrosse and I don't know, that's if you've ever seen lacrosse or know anything about lacrosse it's basically like soccer so i i mean just from growing up i i do like to watch soccer and i can get very excited over you know the game but lacrosse all the way i love to watch lacrosse i understand it way more and i can really appreciate the plays that happen the goals that happen so um soccer and lacrosse hair color and eye color um this is my hair color it's 
um, brown. <laughs> it's like a light brown. Actually, I'm gonna take it down. Um, this is actually my natural hair color. It's just like a light brown, and I have like some blonde highlights. I don't know if you can really see them, but yeah. And my eye color is hazel, and my best friend loves to challenge me on this. Loves to. My eyes are hazel, but in certain light, sometimes in like super bright daylight, especially with phone flash, my eyes are also green on like the outer outer rings, outer rings of my eyes. My eyes are green, so wear contacts. No, I don't. Favorite food. I don't think I have a favorite food. I love food. All kinds of food. So I just added a little silver glitter, not a glitter, just kind of moment right there where the kind of cut crease thing was or oh, whatever. How would you describe your fashion sense? Tragic. Favorite dessert? Oh my god, cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory. Well, I mean, cheesecake in general, but from the Cheesecake Factory is where my favorite cheesecake is at. I love cheesecake. So that is basically the end of this video, the end of this tag. I know I answered a lot of questions. I, I okay, honestly, I'm not sure if this video was boring or annoying to some people. Um, that's kind of why I didn't want to make it because I didn't think anybody wanted to see it. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look right here. Um, this is the first makeup look that has semi worked with me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, leave a comment down below if there's any video requests of something you would like to see. And I will see you guys in my next video.